In question 1 of this exercise, we have to multiply the binomials given in each part. So let's start with the first part. In this part, we have to multiply 2x plus 5, this is the first binomial, with 4x minus 3, which is the second binomial. So we will apply the distributive law and we will expand this product. So we can write this as 2x into 4x minus 3 plus 5 into 4x minus 3. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is uh, in the first bracket that we have, I'm taking the product of 2x with this bracket and I'm taking the product of 5 with this bracket. Now, what we can do is we have 2x into 4x minus 3 and we have 5 into 4x minus 3. We can expand each of these products again using the distributive law. So from the first product, we will get 2x into 4x and then minus 2x into 3. And then from the second product, we will get 5 into 4x and then minus 5 into 3. Okay, so now we can uh, calculate the products. So 2x into 4x is 2 into 4 is 8 and x into x is x square. So we get 8x square. Then minus 2x into 3 will be minus 6x because minus 2 into 3 is minus 6. And then 5 into 4x will be 5 into 4 is 20. So we get plus 20x and then we get minus 5 into 3 which is minus 15. And finally, of these four terms that we obtained, minus 6x and plus 20x are like terms, so we can combine them. So we will get 8x square minus 6x plus 20x will become plus 14x and then minus 15. So this expression that we have obtained, 8x square plus 14x minus 15, this is the answer for the first part. Now let's go to the second part. In the second part, we have to multiply y minus 8 with 3y minus 4. So this is the product that we have to calculate. So once again, we will apply the distributive law and we can expand the this product along the first bracket. So we can take y into 3y minus 4 minus 8 into 3y minus 4. So this is how we can expand. So y into 3y minus 4 and then minus 8 into 3y minus 4. All right, now y into 3y minus 4 can be expanded again. So we will get y into 3y minus y into 4. So again, I'm applying the distributive law. And then from the second product, we get minus 8 into 3y and then minus 8 into minus 4. All right, now let's find the values of these products. So y into 3y is 3y square because y into y gives you y square then minus y into 4 is minus 4y and then minus 8 into 3y. So minus 8 into 3 is minus 24. So we will get minus 24y and then minus 8 into minus 4 is plus 32. So we have obtained these four terms now of which minus 4y and minus 24y are like terms. So they can be combined. So we will get 3y square and then minus 28y because minus 4 and minus 24 combined gives minus 28 and then we have plus 32. So this expression 3y square minus 28y plus 32, this is the answer for the second part. Okay, so we've done part 1 and part 2 and now we come to part 3. In this part we have to multiply 2.5l minus 0.5m with the binomial 2.5l plus 0.5m. So once again, we will use the distributive law. So we will multiply 2.5l with this bracket, second bracket, and minus 0.5m with this second bracket. Okay, so this will give us 2.5l times 2.5l plus 0.5m. This is the first part. And then minus 0.5m times 2.5l plus 0.5m. And now we get these two products which we will again expand using the distributive law. So let's take this first product and we expand this. So this will give us 2.5L into 2.5L. So we, multi we are multiplying term by term. And then we have 2.5L into 0.5M. So that's the first product. 
and then we expand this second product. So we have minus 0 0.5 m into 2.5 l and then we have minus 0 0.5 m into 0 0.5 m. All right, and now let's find the values of these products. So 2.5 l into 2.5 l, this will be equal to 2.5 into 2.5 is 6.25. So we get 6.25 and l into l is l square. So 6.25 l square. Then we take 2.5 L into 0.5 M. So 2.5 into 0 0.5 is 1.25. So we get 1.25 L M. Then we have minus 0.5 M into 2.5 L. So minus 0.5 into 2.5 is minus 1.25. And we get M into L or L M again. And then we have minus 0.5 M into uh, 0.5 M, the fourth product. Minus 0.5 into 0.5 will be 0 0.25 so 0 0.2 minus so it will be minus 0 0.25 and m into m is m square so in these four terms the second and the third term cancel each other out exactly and we will be left with only 6.25 l square minus 0 0.25 m square so this expression that we have obtained 6.25 L square minus 0 0.25 M square. This is the answer for part three. Next, we come to part four in which we have to multiply A plus 3B with the second binomial is X plus five. Okay, so we will again apply the distributive law. We will multiply A with X plus five and we will multiply 3B with X plus five. So we can expand this as A into x plus 5 plus 3b into x plus 5. This is how we can expand this product. Now we have these two products a into x plus 5 and 3b into x plus 5 and each of these we can expand using the distributive law. So we will get a into x plus a into 5 from the first product and then we will get 3b into x plus 3b into 5 from the second uh, product. Now let's find the values of these products. So a into x can be written simply as a x. Then a into 5 can be written as 5 a. Then 3 b into x can be written as 3 b x. And then 3 b into 5 can be written as 3 into 5 is 15. So we can write this as 15 b. Okay, so this expression that we've obtained a x plus 5 a plus 3 b x plus 15 b this is the answer for part 4. Now we will come to part 5. In part 5 we have to multiply 2pq plus 3q square. This is the first binomial and we have to multiply this with 3pq minus 2q square. So this is the second binomial. So we will again apply the distributive law. We will multiply 2pq with this bracket. 3pq minus 2q square and then we will multiply 3q square also with this bracket. Okay, so let's expand this. So we get 2pq into 3pq minus 2q square and then we get 3q square, the second term of the first binomial into 3pq minus 2q square. So this is how we can expand in the first step. Now we have two products, 2pq into this bracket and 3q square into this bracket and we can expand both products again using the distributive law. So we will get 2pq into 3pq minus 2pq into 2q square. This is from the first product. Then from the second product we have 3q square into 3pq and then minus 3q square into 2q square. Okay. So these are the four terms that we get. Now let's find the, let's write all the four products in simplified form. So 2pq into 3pq. How can we write this? So 2 into 3 is 6. Then we have p into p, that's p square. And we have q into q, so that's q square. So 6p square q square. Then we have minus 2pq into 2q square. So minus 2 into 2 is minus 4. And then we have p, there's only one repetition of p but we have q into q square. So this becomes q cube. Okay. 
and then we have plus 3 q square into 3 p q so 3 into 3 is 9 and then we have one repetition of p so we write p and then we have q square into q so again we get q cube and finally we have minus 3 q square into 2 q square so minus 3 into 2 is minus 6 and q square into q square is q to the power um, q to the power 4 okay and now in these in these uh, four terms that we have obtained, the second term and the third term are like terms, minus 4 pq cube plus 9 pq cube. So we can combine them. So we will get 6 p square q square. Then the second and third term can be combined to give us 5 pq cube. And then the last term is minus 6 q to the power 4. So this expression that we have obtained, this expression is the answer for part 5. Okay, now we finally come to part 6, the last part of this question, in which we have to multiply 3 by 4 a square plus 3 b square, this is the first binomial, with this expression that we have 4 times a square minus 2 by 3 b square. So first, let me multiply the 4 outside the bracket with, with each of the two terms of the binomial. So the second binomial can be written as 4 into a square minus 4 into 2 by 3 b square or 8 by 3 b square. So the second binomial can be written like this. So I'm going to write it like this 4 a square minus 8 by 3 b square. And now we can expand this product using the distributive law. So we will take the product 3 by 4 a square with the second bracket and then 3 b square with the second bracket. Okay, so we will get 3 by 4 a square into 4 a square minus 8 by 3 b square. So this is one part of the product. And then we have 3 b square into 4 a square minus 8 by 3 b square. Okay, now we have these two products, these two products, and we can expand each of these two products using the distributive law again. So we get 3 by 4 a square into 4a square and then minus 3 by 4a square into 8 by 3b square. So these two come out of the first product, the first product in the uh, in the previous uh, expression. And then from the second product, we get 3b square into 4a square and then minus 3b square into 8 by 3b square. So now we have a total of four products in our expression. So let's find out the value of each. So 3 by 4 a square into 4 a square. So the fours cancel out and we have 3 a square into a square. So that's 3 a to the power 4 because a square and a square will give a to the power 4. Then we have minus 3 by 4 a square into 8 by 3 b square. So this 3 and this 3 cancels out and 8 by 4 is 2. So we get minus 2 and we have an a square and we have a b square. So minus 2a square b square. Then we have 3b square into 4a square. 3 into 4 is 12. So we get plus 12 and then a square and b square. And then finally we have minus 3b square into 8 by 3b square. So this 3 and this 3 cancels out. And b square into b square is b to the power 4. So we get minus 8b to the power 4. Alright, now in the four terms that we have obtained, the second term and the third term are like terms, so we can combine them. And this will give us 3a to the power 4 and then minus 2a square b square plus 12a square b square will give us 10a square b square. And then we have minus 8b to the power 4. So now this expression finally is the simplified form of the product. So this is the answer for part 6. And with this, we have completed question number one. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.